guys. All right, let's go back over lesson nine one. Sarah has 12 marbles. Chris has one more marble than Sarah. Okay, one more than Sarah. Lucia has 10 more marbles than Sarah. How many marbles does Chris have? Okay, well, let's write these names down. Sarah, we know for sure she has 12 marbles, okay? Chris, we know that he has just one more, just one more than Sarah. If we look at our 120 chart and we find 12, if I wanna find one more, I take one step to the right. What number do I find? 13, good. And you notice that the tens place isn't changing. It's still one in the tens place. Our ones place is changing. It's going up by one. So see, it was a two here and now it's a three. We went one more. Okay, so Chris has one more. That means he has 13. All right, it says Lucia has 10 more than Sarah. Okay, well, let's see, let's find 12 because that's how many Sarah has. Now, if I want to find 10 more, I'm not going to go just one space to the right. Let's count 10 ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I found a shortcut. 10 more is 22, but instead of counting it all up, I can go one line down. Look here. See our ones place is not changing. We are adding to our tens place. We had one in the tens place here, and then we got another 10. So it went from one 10 to two tens. So 10 more than 12 is 22. So we know that Lucia has 22. Good job. All right, let's turn over on the back. All right, so we have one more than 25. Let's find 25. One more than 25 is 26. See, I'm going just one to the right, and that's changing our ones place. What if I want to say one less? Oh, I'm gonna go back to the smaller numbers, right? And my ones place is gonna go down and it goes down to 24. Notice when I'm just moving up one, the ones place is changing and the tens place is staying exactly the same. It's saying two. All right, if I wanna say 10 more than 25, remember we found out that trick that we can go down one row and our ones place stays the same, but we're adding to our tens place because we're making 10 more. So it went from two tens to three tens. So 25 moves to 35. Okay, well, what if I wanna say 10 less? If I went down towards the bigger numbers for more, I'm gonna go up towards the smaller numbers for less. And look what happens to our one place. It stays the same. And our tens place is going down one. It went from two to one. So 10 less than 25 is 15. Good job, guys. Okay. So now we're gonna move on to this page. This was what we were doing in class independently. We're gonna find number 11, okay? And I'm gonna put it right here where you can see both the problem and our 120 chart, okay? So, it says one more than 11. So I see one, my ones place is gonna be changing. So I'm gonna find 11, one more. I'm gonna take one step to the right, it's gonna be 12. My ones place went up by one. So one more than 11 is 12. Here's a little tricky. One less than 11 is, well, I know if I'm right here, I can't go 
one left and just be out here in our space. Now we've got to go up a row and back. Look what happened to our ones place. Our 10 is the same, but we had one in the ones place here and we went down to zero. So that's gonna make it 10. Now we're ready to do 10 more than 11. 10 more, we're gonna add one to our tens place. So that means we get to go down. 21, 21 is 10 more than 11. See, our tens place changed. Now we're gonna do 10 less. All right, let's find 11, 10 less. Let's look at our tens place. Our tens place, is just gonna disappear because if we have one in the tens place and we go one down, that'll mean zero in the tens place. And then we're just left with our one. So 10 less than 11 is gonna be one. Okay, now let's find 40. Okay, one more than 40. Let's see where 40 is. I have to rearrange here, okay. So here's my 40, and we wanna find one more. Well, I can't go out here, there's nothing left. I'm gonna go to the next row. So 41, see my ones place changed. It was a zero, whoops, sorry guys, 41. It was a zero, and then my ones place went up one. Now one less than 40, one less. Just one, so our ones place is changing. We're gonna go back one, 39, 39. And something special happened here. Our tens place did change. It did, because we were moving back from 40 to 39. So we had, we in that special case, we did have to move back. That's why it's a good thing to have our 120 chart where it's easier for us to see it, okay? 10 more than 40, 10 more. Well, I know my tens place is gonna be changing. Boop, 50, good job, 50. Okay, so see our tens place changed from a four to a five. 10 less, Up. Oh, we're gonna go up. Our tens place is gonna change from a four to a three because we're going down. Well, we're going up, but our number is decreasing. So that's gonna be 30. Good job, guys. All right, last one, 81. Let's find 81. Yep, there it is. Okay, so one more than 81. Our ones place is gonna go from one to two. So instead of 81, it's 82. 82. All right, now let's go back to 81. One less. I can't go back here because there's nothing out there, so I'm gonna have to go back to my next line at the end. So it's gonna be 80. See how my ones place went from one to zero? 80. Okay, now let's do 10 more than 81. All right, I found 81 again. Let's do 10 more. This time my ones place is gonna stay the same and my tens are gonna get bigger. So eight is gonna change to a nine. 91 is 10 bigger than 81. Now let's do 10 less. Find my 81. Instead of my uh, tens place getting one bigger, it's gonna get one less, okay? So it went from eight to seven. 71. All right, I hope this helps.